Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel to the newcomers. My name is Didi Tahutu. I hold on some bookcase. I say bam after going all in almost five years ago now. Yes, and we still travel the world as a family. Now, today, a short TA video on this beautiful Monday morning where Bitcoin is sitting around uh, 56k. Um, so let's quickly jump into the charts. I have four amazing charts you need to see on this amazing Monday. Bam. The devil was on my trail. I've been running so long that my feet don't work no more. This is the first chart, guys. Um, the one hour chart. On the one hour chart, we can see that huge push, push up, guys. The one hour chart. On the one hour chart, guys, we can see this huge push up over here. And did the bam bam indicator is tell us to go long? Long flag. Candle closing above the yellow stepping line. The bam crossed over there. The green line went on top. And here the green area started. So if we would have taken the long from that green dot over here, this candle, we would now again be in a 2% profit, um, but with a leverage of 10, again, uh, that's 20%. And um, if you spot trade, you would have bought around that long flag at 54,900. You would now be at 56,600, that's $1,500 on each Bitcoin you trade. So yes, the BAM was telling us that. Um, really nice. If you want more information about the BAM, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. Um, let's check up on this chart. I work on Aurox, so I always have the same chart set up. Um, I told you guys we're going to break that red area over there, and then we are going to hunt for that purple line over there. That is exactly what we are doing. Slowly crawling up to that 62k level again. So that's all looking beautiful to me. Let's jump into the next chart. Bam! This one is very important. I told you many times the Gaussian channel. We broke out with this candle. This candle will close in one day and 18 hours. It is very important that this candle doesn't touch that line at 49,200. Not a wick, nothing. If it doesn't touch it with a body or a wick, very, very, very bullish. Every time when we break out with that uh, above that Gaussian channel, without a wick touching the channel again, maybe we could pull back, but then bam, huge run. You see this? Here, huge run. So, very important in my opinion let's zoom out a little bit more bam the week chart guys i told you since a couple of days or weeks already we need to break that logarithmic growth curve midline yes didi you told us uh, and now we are breaking that one this is the blx the blx is lagging behind so let's look at the bybit chart for example bam you can see we already broke it we, we closed the week tiny 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 bit above it like you can see and the new week opened above it and we are now at 56k guys be aware every time when we break that midline of the logarithmic growth curve during the second part of that bull run we will see explosive growth i can't it's not my gut feeling it is just what i see on the charts look we are going to go back to the BLX because that is, uh, has more uh, accurate data of all the other runs. This is a 2017 run. Just to show you what I mean, the 2017 run, we were fighting here, fighting that midline, fighting that midline. This whole area here is about fighting the midline. When we broke the midline, we had a huge run. This midline is very important. It's a very important resistance level that we need to break if you look back guys here even all the way to <coughs> 2013 fighting that midline here again fighting the midline this is a weekly chart three weeks still we broke it and bam we went up so please be aware in my opinion this is a very important moment that we break that line and yes on the blx we can see it tomorrow but on all the other charts this one or this one we can see we have a candle now above it and we need to close that candle above it in six days really cool and then yes we can go again and look to the stock to flow model of plan b because 
this would indicate that we are now here this is 2017 this area here uh, dark greenish below the mil that uh, average line dark greenish below that line we are going to hunt for that line and that hunting for that line would result in let's say december 105,000 US dollar if like other peaks we went we go above it we could even extend it here to a higher levels of price like 200 or 300k really cool the deflection at the moment of the stock to flow chart needs to load um, you can see it over here the green line every time when we top the market we will be red we will be red in the bull run red in the top even a little bit red over here at that 63 uh, previous ultimate this green line you can see there's a lot of upward movement possible this means we are far away from the bull run top um, at least 150k in my opinion at the moment as it looks like that do i have anything else to show you um let's jump into the next chart bam this one because people are asking me all over the place when are the alts again starting to run Didi? the alt we are losing value in our altcoins yes you shouldn't have stayed in the alts that long um or that that big maybe a little bit more in in, in, in bitcoin like i always say um but if you compare the october november bitcoin dominance rally over there the gray box that is the rally that is when bitcoin went into the huge dominance in 2017 then um, december to january you can see bitcoin falling down the dominance that was exactly when the alt season started so yes october november bitcoin will rally and will have a dominance and then when the dominance drops that will be the start of the alt season now four years later we can see the same october november bitcoin is pop is starting with the dominance uh, rally probably if we will copy uh, the 2071 we will go up dip and uh, then have a peak uh, around december and then again the altcoin season will start so that is how it went in 2017 over here and how it could go now in 2021 22 over there hope that was all a little bit clear and i hope my face was not completely into the screen no it wasn't it was perfect and so bam that was everything for this beautiful monday morning the sun is the sun is now rising i went up very early this morning and i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel zip some coffee mm, very important and please leave a comment what do you think about these charts about the dominance and all the other stuff um the next couple of days guys i will be leaving to dubai on uh, i think wednesday so it could be that i make a little bit less videos or on t uh, different times not in the morning but um you will find out thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam <laughs>